by playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Bruh. Bruh, my entire life I've been exposing myself to highly disturbing content. I mean, <laughs> come on. I'm a fucked up person. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That's loud. This game is not suitable for children. They're those who are easily disturbed. <laughs> it's adorable! <laughs> I like this already! <laughs> this music is adorable. What the what is up everybody? Dan Melodo here, and I'm bringing at you, into your faces, some Doki Doki Literature Club. So this shit is like super popular right now, and it was requested to me requested to me, I know words, um, requested to me by my little brother. So, little bro, Mark, you watching this? Sodded. <laughs> um, yeah, so, it's just like super fucking popular right now. I'm saying that everywhere, like even in games that aren't related to this, and some that are, like Yandere Simulator, um, all I've heard is that it's a creepy ass game masquerading as an adorable, like, Japanese schoolgirl kind of game. Um, so these are four girls, sub ladies, y'all looking beautiful. Um, I'm gonna be joining y'all today. Uh, I right, so hope y'all you know chill with that, y'all cool with that. All right, so let, let's fucking do this. New game, Mellow. That's my name. That's me. Hi, what's good? I'm Mellow. Okay. Hey. I seen an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she just don't care, and she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Sounds like me. That girl Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Aye? You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Yeah, I got friends like that. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. Am I Sayuri? Cause that, that sounds like me, to be completely honest. Once I hit high school, I missed the bus so many times my mom threatened that she would never drive me to school again and I'd have to learn the bus schedule. And then the next time I missed the bus, I uh, like literally burst into tears and my mom got, like I came home like sobbing from the bus stop because like I ran to the bus stop and this bitch ass bus driver just like, you know, like, that thing, that, that video of, like, Luigi and the betrayal, like, in the Mario Kart where he just, like, stares at you as he, like, fucks you up? That was the bus driver. Yeah, she saw me. She could have stopped. Like, I was five feet away, and she just took off. Like, she could have stopped, but she didn't. That fucking bitch. Um, so I came home, and my mom thought that I had been raped or something, the way that I was screaming and crying. Like, I let out this shriek of absolute pain and torture. Because I missed the bus. I never had to learn the bus <laughs> route. <laughs> but if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayuri catch up to me. Ah, oh, I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Fuck. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you, say that, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Mellow. It's true, though. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Then also, I'm a chick. So, you know. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. <laughs> yeah, I pity you. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their deal. I like that word, speckled. That's a fun word. By the way, Mello, have you decided on a club to join yet? Um, I was thinking about uh, the BDSM club. I heard that uh, it's like go hard or go home, you know? The club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Which is true, I didn't really join any clubs in high school. I haven't been looking either. <laughs> That's not true. You told me you'd join a club this year. Did I? 
I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. I also do that, yeah. Siri likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just been getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Yeah, yeah, basically. Uh-huh. I was talking about how worried that you- how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Why, why didn't I have friends worried about me like that back in high school? Your happiness is really important to me, you know. I wish I had a friend like her back in high school. I wanted someone to worry about me. No one worried about Mello. Now look at me. Shit, like even the people that I'm in a club with, like, I don't interact with them because I don't know how. <laughs> And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. The fuck is a neat? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright, just stop with the fucking blinking, okay? I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? I just- yes, I guess I'll promise you that. I just- I said that I would, but okay. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why do I get, let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a uh, at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Oh my god. Retweet. Poor favor. That is basically every morning and afternoon and evening of my life. Mm -hmm. Yuck. Fuck you! Clubs. Siri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Siri? Siri must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah! Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. Don't make promises you can't keep, Sayori. God damn it. You always do this. You're always fucking doing this. Ever since we were children, you're always making promises and then putting me between a rock and a hard place. Sayori! I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I'd say both. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Ooh. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. But for real though, I've probably already done that. At some point in my life. I dejectedly follow Sayori around the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit because gen being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! Ugh. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh. Glance around the room. 
Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Siri always says such nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Bitch! Do not assume my gender. I... I am 100% female. <laughs> Although in the game I'm probably a dude. Way to kill that atmosphere. Oh, hello. What a nice surprise. <laughs> Welcome to the club. You sound like a dude. Can I, should I not assume your gender either? All words escape me in this situation. I mean, look at her. Or him or whatever. That fucking voice. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute girls. Question mark? The girl on the left. I don't fucking know. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry, bitch. You can fucking chill out, I eh? Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I, is one I don't recognize. Bitch, I don't know you, and you don't know me, so I can stop. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayuri. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Which is all the time. She's constantly PMSing. Siri so says that quietly into my ear, then turns back to the other girl. Anyways, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears... Why am I in a literature club if I can't even fucking speak correctly? Also, if y'all hear any, like, background noise, like thunking or door slamming and shit, I'm in a college dorm. As I've said in previous videos, I'm in a college dorm, and I got noisy people all around me, and there's nothing I can do about that, so sometimes I just can't edit that shit out. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Ah, well, uh, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right! It's great to see you again, Milo. Monica smiles sweetly. Slop bra. <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Her voice always tended to scare the shit out of me. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, with that very strange and deep masculine voice. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me feels so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, M Monica. See, you didn't get that uh, the voice thing checked out. Is, is it the notes? Your vocal notes? Like that chick from uh, Pitch Perfect in the first one where she was able to sing super low she got her, no her vocal notes like cut out or something? Come sit down, Mello. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I got the cupcakes! Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Siori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the, tra the, the, the table with tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Anya? Sorry. The whiskers are drawn with icing little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So kawaii! <laughs> I had no idea you're so good at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. Siri so grabs the first one, then Monica fall. Then Monica, I fall. It's delicious. Siri so talks with her mouth full and already has managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Mitsuki is quiet. I can't help but her. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. I got some love on face, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Ah, oh, fuck, it's poison. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. 
This is really fucking like fucking like focus. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ashley. I wish I had a cupcake now. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't I heard this somewhere before. Maybe. <gasps> Danny Phantom. That's where I heard it before. Made them for you or anything. It, I thought you technically did, Siri so said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, you dummy. Alright. Fucking get the stick at your ass, bitch. I give up on Azuki's weird logic and dismiss the gun, like, fucking. The fuck ever, bitch. You just. You do you. I'm finna gonna finish eating this fucking cupcake. I'm gonna get the fuck out of Dodge, alright? Like. Uh -uh. Yuri returned to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting it down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I don't fucking know, bitch. I haven't read for fun in, like, months. Let alone had I- uh, now I want some tea. Fuck. Damn it. I want tea and cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get your, let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not- Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I meant that, you know. I believe you, Yuri. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. You got mint? Or like, honey vanilla, that shit good? I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Your eyes look like fucking amethysts. I like amethysts. And yours, Monica, the manly. <laughs> Your eyes look like emeralds, so that's chill. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider a literature class? <laughs> fucking love this voice. Um... <laughs> I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. And much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Hey, dude, I can fucking get behind that, bro. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. The, no. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way! Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Mm hmm. For those that are wondering, I'm drinking Rockstar Juiced Tropical Passion Fruit. It's basically apple juice and orange juice, according to the uh, ingredients. Apple juice concentrate, orange juice concentrate, and basically nothing else except grana seed extract, panax ginseng root extract, milk thistle extract, but I can't taste those. I just taste the apple juice and the orange juice, so if that's what makes pa uh, tropical passion fruit, fucking whatever. <laughs> You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really clear out this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. To get this dick. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I could keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. 
So, Mel, what kind of things do you like to read? Um, well, let's see. I like to read fantasy, like mythology kind of stuff, uh, fairy tales. Um, I hate Jane Eyre, though. I tried reading it like two or three separate times. I can't fucking do it. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. M manga, I mutter to myself quietly, a half joking. Nasuki has pops up. It looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. I, I see you over there, Natsuki. You fucking weeaboo. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that that can change once I fucking chill out with classes and shit. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Oh. Sexy. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment that I walked in, but it's obvious by the way that her light lights up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? This sounds like talking to other English majors. I'm just like... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That, that's basically... That's basically it. Mm. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I could get behind that. Uh, I read a horror book once. Once. It was Goosebumps. I desperately grasped for something I could relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story can make me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind dur during the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything about you, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori so sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. <sighs> Natsuki, write your own poems? <laughs> well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh. Ah, oh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. But the truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Bitch! It ain't that fucking hard to tell people, like, to let people read your work. Like, I fucking do it all the time. I'm a, I'm a fucking creative writing mi mi minor, so I mean, I do that, like, several times a semester. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. It's not that difficult. Unless it is, then it is. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you share some of your own work. You can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to show hers. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. These are good books, Natsuki. This is good tea, Yuri. Monica, you should, you should get your, your book notes looked at. Okay! I have an idea for everyone. Eh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, well, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us to get, all get a little more comfortable around each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Is that right, Mello? Fucking whatever. Hold on, there's still one problem. 
It was that. Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I will only come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this fucking club. Like, don't assume. To assume makes an ass out of you and me, you know? Like, fucking... Fuck. Siri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... Fuck. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. God damn it. For real, though. Y'all finna gonna do that to, to bro? That's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when she got distracted, her eyes just fucking spaced out, and that was fucking hilarious. But, I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Mello? Y you all... I'm defenseless against these girls, even Natsuki with the fucking ring around her goddamn mouth. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I guess I'm finna gonna join the goddamn motherfucking literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. They want the D. Or in my case, they want the V. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm so happy. Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down a little bit. Mm. That's sexy. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club! Uh, thanks, I guess. Please, can you take it down but just a little bit? Get those fucking nose checked at Monica. You're making me feel a little bit unnerved. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring you to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Mel, I look forward to see how you express yourself. I'm gonna do a haiku called Suck This Dick. I really like dick. It is long and throbbing, yeah. Dick, 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 dick. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Bruh! My writing skills are not mediocre. They are alpha mediocre at best. Like, fuck you. That dick poem was- that dick haiku was fucking rad. You're f welcome. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Bella, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Siri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Those are fucking nice houses. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course... M M monica Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, so I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words that you think your favorite club members will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Hmm. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> All right, let's see. Words. Smile, whistle, tragedy, pure. Milk, precious, fluffy, vanilla, can disaster, candy. What do I do? I kind of can assume. Uh, I don't know who I want though. Uh, I don't know. My type is more like Bowser, or Waluigi, or Itachi. None of them are really Sundares or Kuderis or any other dairies. The Dairy Dairies? I fucking no. I know I myself am tech, uh, apparently a Yandere, but. I don't fucking know. So, candy. Up. Oh, looks like Natsuki like that. Climax. 
Um, poof. Up, oh, Natsuki. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm finna gonna just let this ha play out and see what happens. Unrestrained. Empty. Okay. Sticky. Oh, shit. Um, incongruent. <laughs> uh, spinning. Uh, pain. After image. Uh, marshmallow. Unstable. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, bubbles. Um, lust. Oh, sh nibble. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, boop. <laughs> Uh, Papa. Oh shit, you got daddy issues? You got daddy issues, Natsumi? Lazy. Um. Desire. Oh fuck. Um. Uh, contamination. Fuck. Um. Um. Infierno. Oh fuck, I think I went for uh, Yuri, so. Hygen Mellow! Saw it. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. Just fucking I'll run away from you right now. You're fucking terrifying. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I don't fucking know what kind of poem I wrote. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, my love. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you type headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Siri told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you just pl if you plan to just come here to hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. <laughs> manga is literature! Swift and defeated, Natsuki pops back in her seat. Don't worry, guys. Mela always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Oh, dependable. Siri, Siri, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And with my ADHD, if I, if, I, if I can, I'll do anything if I'm distracted, really, I mean. And you almost set your house on fire once. Oh, shit. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Mello can become good friends, too. Uh -oh. Siri. Hmm? As usual, Siri seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. Wait, wait Siri, eh, eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Siri made it sound like a big deal. It's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess it means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. It's funny, a nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I'm a chill dude. Really, I'm really easy breezy, flowy goey, you know, whatever. I like stuff, so if you got stuff for me, no matter what it is, if it's like a fucking rat tail, I fucking candy, hell yeah. If it's like the souls of the innocent, well, I'll add it to my collection. So, yeah, I won't make a big deal of it if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, fuck. <laughs> Discuss it if you want. I mean, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much? Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I mean, I'd rather have the souls of the innocent, but you know, books books work too. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, if you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sonica and 
Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ah! Air next to me, utter an, an utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. A hand? You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the plan of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes? Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out whether the other person stands. How do you know anyways? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. But there it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Mello. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. True, true. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right in my hands. Ah, uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. I think I've read a lot of moe stuff back in the day. I don't remember. I think it was uh, Shugochara. That was a good one. I never finished it. And also, Chibi Vampire is really good. Uh, my first manga ever that I can recall was Kodocha, the only manga series I ever actually finished. Um, if anybody wants to read it, I highly suggest it. It's actually really good, and the, and the anime is actually really funny. If you could find the English dub. The Japanese dub is okay, but honestly, I do prefer the, um, the English dub. Don't just stand there. What? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. <laughs> Well, guess it's out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. There is no closet that I'm in. I'm, I'm very straight. Just saying. She passes the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. It was that. Ah, I guess it's easier to be closer, close together like this. D don't, don't say that. You made me feel weird about it. Oh. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I also think I read that in her voice instead of mine, so, you know, what? Well, I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her, either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space which she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice-of-life affair. It kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that doesn't didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But it, that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen, that's really what makes it so good. There's so many touching parts. Is is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? 
Uh, Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Hm, good save. Baka. Uh, this chapter seems like it's about bank baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah? What does that matter? It doesn't, it doesn't, I, I, was, I was just wondering, I mean, baking's chill, I like to bake, cupcakes and stuff, you know. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's, that's just a coincidence. It just happened to get into baking around the same time I took, got this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that's that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains the Suki's interest in baking. So, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. I mean, you could be trying to steal the souls of the innocent. But baking, she shall too. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you were just watching me read? Well, I'm, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince all any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um... That's not... Uh, well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Sorry, bitch. Like, I don't need to be all kind of fucking sensitive and shit. Hmm. Like, I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up with them. Bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I gravitated towards the other loser over time. I'm looking at you, Nessa. Yeah. Fucking nerd. <laughs> no, but seriously. Fucking nerd. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? What is enjoyment? Fucking idiot. <laughs> Geez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading it or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. I just finished just finish this chapter. Whatever. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast from her usual bossy one. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom is a rare experience? The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone! <laughs> eh, are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry! I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty co cozy over there. <laughs> eh. ah. Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily sizes herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but Monica just said, "Don't be, don't be a dummy, dummy. Just take it home with you, dummy." Eh, is that really all right? Why are you calling me a dummy so many times, you fucking bitch? I'm not dumb. You're dumb. 
I say that mostly because I didn't really plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Seriously, I will actually kill you. By tomorrow? I only get partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Nasuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of seeing what will happen if I don't finish it? All right, then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to read a poem last night? Oh, fuck. Where the fuck did you come from, Monica? God, don't speak, don't sneak up on me like that. Maybe a cute little kawaii voice that I wouldn't mind, but your manly ass voice scares the shit out of me. I think you're a goddamn teacher. Relaxation ends. Yeah. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Siri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Siri is on a wrinkled sheet of loosely torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Nasuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, Natsuki! I told Nasuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair that I share mine with, hers fir mine with her first. Okay, well, let's get started with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Nasuki rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. <laughs> then what was the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. <laughs> in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. <laughs> well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Uh-huh. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. <laughs> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. <laughs> you're so... You, you just... You, you, you don't understand anything, do you? Dummy. I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I said that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. Boy. She's a fucking soon daddy. Hmm? I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she likes my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? <laughs> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. It's bad. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Which I don't. Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less value valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Okay. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I yeah, I, <laughs> I understand. But the other nice thing about writing simple writing is that it puts more weight in on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on purpose. Uh-huh. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did? Mm. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Did expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Uh, I guess not. I decided to humor with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Mm -hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. 
Um, oh, sorry, I just forgot to, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. Don't force yourself, Babs. You're, you're good, it's, it's chill. I'm, I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Yeah. No. What do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just reach my place? I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we ha really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is they try to make their style, is very del their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two words together. The end result is both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone in, this, in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bi a bit biased, but... Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. No, oh, girl, go on. Tell me. Spill the tea. Literally. Do it. Come on, girl. We're friends here. Come on. I won't tell her. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. But I want to hear one. Bye, tell. <clears throat> do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh, my back is hurting. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Snaps. Snaps. I'm sorry I have such terrible- A BITCH! <laughs> you haven't seen my fucking hair writing. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is very pretty. <laughs> it, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write like longer poems. No, not at all. I'm really glad you like. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's my first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story t isn't about a ghost at all, Mello. Really? Because I read about- uh, I, there were ghosts. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all, but remember that po poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than simply tell a story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's pretty impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. No. No. I'm a, I'm a creative writing minor, and I still didn't pick up on that. Most because I don't care. Oh, Yuri. I don't give a fuck. I guess I'll have to keep trying. No, I won't. I don't give a fuck. I'm counting on you. Don't. <laughs> this is a good poem, Mellow. Are you sure it's your first time? 
Of course. It's not that good. Just ask Scary. She shat all over it. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impresses me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really just happy that you wrote one. It really reminds me of how you're a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Mello. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Bitch! I'm not selfish, period! Bitch! Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Siri. I'm not sure if she sees the full picture of my mouth up here. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. That booty dough. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play, or are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad, I want breakfast. <laughs> oh, I like that! I like that! Uh, oh my god. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You, you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Should I put it? it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I skip breakfast all the time. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. Yeah. But next time, but next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess, I guess I look forward to it. Time to go see Monica. Let's see if All right, let's do this shit. Hi, Mellow! Having a good time so far? Yeah. God, your voice. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm always listening. I'm all ears. Don't be afraid to bring these things up, okay? All right. Stop talking, please. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. Your voice terrifies me. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I, I manage to get out of this fucking club. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess we'll have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Mello. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? It's that sort of barrier we'll learn to all learn to get past soon. Yeah, this is true. Your voice is another barrier. I hand Monica my poem. <laughs> I like it, Mello. Really? Yeah, it's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. Please stop laughing. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Nasuki would write. And she is a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you say so. Yup. By any chance, have you read anything by Shell Silverstein? No. Maybe a long time ago? He's, fam He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. 
That's called a haiku. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki kind of is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. It might be easier to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll try. I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always hope you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have any worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, it's because I have to sound confident. That means I always feel the same way. Oh my god, I'm getting lightheaded to doing that voice. Whew. Holy shit. Stop talking so much, Monica. Like, fucking damn. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. Are we talking about watering holes? Or are you... Peeping in some fucking shit. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the speckle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I appear inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun, but it's too late. My retinas! Already scorched with permanent copy of the meaningless image. Just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into any everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he, on this other side, was looking in. So what do you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When I perform it out loud, it can be powerful. What was the inspira oh. <clears throat> What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure how to find out how to put it. I guess you could say I had some sort of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany. Um, I, I can't think too deeply because your voice is hurting my brain. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about stuff like that because it's coming on strong. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a new poem or story, your brain gets you fixated on a specific point. So if you try hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. If you just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up and stuff later, another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my me mediocre, mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I end ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Siri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. <clears throat> Jesus. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh. Um, did you say something? Oh, no, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem, to the desk, with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something s nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. 
If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Mello did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something that's particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> And Mello liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Mello appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you full of yourself? I... No. I, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Mello started showing up. N Natsuki, um... Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve, involve you. you. I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly both girls tw turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Mello, sh she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should just jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Mello. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Mello? Don't fucking bring me into this. Excuse you. Well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. So of course that's gonna be... Uh -huh. Um, Yuri! You're really talented. <laughs> well, but Natsuki has a point. I think that... I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over, and Asuki's poems did a really good job at that. Yeah! It really did, didn't it? <laughs> Shows how much you know. Th that's not... Natsuki, I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me! Natsuki voice whines. Look... What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing, and sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we, we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Siri is nodding face. Shut up, Sayuri! You, I didn't call you. Call on you. You stay quiet. Yeah, so you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah. Natsuki's voice gets caught up in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri. Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said, so you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Mello. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a breath. I. The thing about. Ugh. Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with wor with it than she boasted. Sierra and Monica look away. Hm. Anyway, the thing about your boobs, I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're natu naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sierra. Uh, I'll, I'll go make some tea. <laughs> I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sierra. I pat Sierra on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that, everyone read each other's poems, right? I hope it's worthwhile for everyone, especially you, Mello. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing about. We we got a little too used to. 
And so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, no, not at all, not at all. There's no time before we go home, so we'll let all our lives for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature relating things in the classroom. You might change the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what clubs are for. I'd scream, Monica. Eh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. Ah! Of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sari. <laughs> and the end though, Monica was right. Being the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. Damn it. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How'd you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Well, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was neat to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. Their poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I tried to learn a little more about the po kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I could at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Mello! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayuri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayuri, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's just really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You you don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them, no. We just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Mello, it's nice I get to spend time with you in the little club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Looks like Sierra still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone's nice, but... Does we really need to stop there? Can I get all the booty? Well, we'll just have to see what, what the future holds. Hopefully four types of booty. I pat Sierra on the shoulder. I, say, I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay! Yeah. Internal. Let's do this. Alright. Well, alright. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it. This has gone extraordinarily long, and I'm, I've been trying to cut back, so, you know, I feel like this might be one of those games that ends up being super fucking long, so just bear with me. Bear with me and my Monica voice. Because God knows I'm going to kill myself over it. But so far, nothing creepy has happened. Um, it's just super cute and adorable. So, you know, it's a thing. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting to know Natsuki a lot better. I, I have a I have a thing. I have a fondness for the tsundere. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, leave a sub. And I will see all y'all in the next video. Stay frosty fresh. Deuces.